Hey, but that black and white tea though. What's up everybody YouTube, Ken Andrew Daly here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple black and white and white and black tea. So here is the white and black piece, you got white as the main color and then you got the black piece under to contrast this and kind of, you know, add a little bit, you know, cut and sew to it and it's a really simple piece. It's really beginner friendly so if you're new to sewing or if you're a lightweight sewer, this would be a really good tutorial to try out. If you want to see these pieces on body, be sure to skip to the end of the video where I show it off. But without further ado, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of everything you're going to need. Starting with the tools, you're going to need your standard cutting tools, pins, a ruler, a measuring tape, and an iron. For the materials, you're going to need one black and white t-shirt. First thing we're going to do is measure how long we want the top part of the t-shirt to be. Get your measuring tape and measure a good length. Remember that length and put pins in that place. Fold the bottom of the t-shirt to that pin. Using your iron, you want to iron down a crease. This is going to make the cutting process a lot easier. Now you want to get your ruler and align it along the crease. Get your cutting tool and cut along the crease. You should end up with four pieces like this. Then you want to interchange the bottom pieces. Next we're going to prepare the top and bottom pieces to be bonded. First we're going to be making reference pins. Fold the top part of the t-shirt in half and place a pin in the middle of the shirt. Make sure to only go through the front side of the t-shirt. Unfold the t-shirt and use the pins we just placed to mark the middle part of the back. We are going to repeat the same process for the bottom part of the t-shirt. Fold the bottom part of the t-shirt in half and place a pin in the middle of the shirt. Make sure to only go through the front side of the t-shirt. Unfold the t-shirt and use the pin we just placed to mark the middle part of the back. Next you want to add pins along both sides of the bottom part of the t-shirt so when we flip it, we know where the sides are. Now you want to take the bottom piece and turn it inside out. Next we're going to pin the bottom piece back onto the top piece. Make sure the bottom piece is inside out and the top piece is right side up. Take the bottom piece and flip it vertically so the hem part is facing the top part also notice that the middle pin for the bottom piece is now at the bottom. Now you can bring the bottom piece over the top piece and line up the raw edges. Use pins we placed earlier as a way to align the pieces. Start pinning around the two pieces. Once you're done with both t-shirts, it should look like this. Take it to your sewing machine and do a zigzag or overlock stitch along the pins. When you're done sewing, you can flip down the bottom part. Last thing to do is stitch down the seam. Turn the t-shirt inside out and go to the seam. Notice how it's sticking out, it looks really bad. So what we're going to do is sew it down with a straight stitch. Push it down and pin it into place. Make sure you don't pin through both layers. It should look like this when you're all done. Take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the seam. Once you're done, you can try on your new black and white tee. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Here's my girlfriend rocking one of the tees. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is Ken and your daily and remember to keep it daily. Peace!